afternoon half, Andrew McKay, football manager of Carlton. Um, most of you have received the uh, press release from the football club. I think you're all aware that we've terminated Josh Bootsman's contract today on the grounds of a number of issues that have been ongoing uh, that we've been trying to deal with for quite some time now. Uh, and it's Obviously one of those has been discussed in the media already, uh, which has come to light very recently, um, putting inappropriate material on social media. Um, and that, that was the final straw that broke the camel's back for us to, to decide to terminate his contract. Any questions from you guys? What was the nature of these things leading up to? Um, certainly many uh, vary things, things like uh, getting to training late, missing appointments, really all the types of things that lose the trust of the playing group. And as you guys are aware, when you lose the trust of the playing group, all doesn't go well to, uh, to hold your spot at the club. Very serious action to take that. It doesn't come lightly, does it? No, not at all. And a really difficult decision for us as well. Um, you know, we're dealing with a young man here. It's a young man's livelihood, so certainly not a light decision on, on our behalf, but a really well thought out decision. Um, we've been in consultation with the AFL and the Players Association over the last 24 hours, and we all believe this is the right decision. Can you shed any more light on the nature of the inappropriate uh, content or in inappropriate Look, behaviour? I, I don't think it, it bears any significance to go into the detail of it, to be honest. I think the point is that. Um, He's put something on social media that's highly inappropriate and it, it really does not meet the standards of the football club and that's where I'd like to leave it. Can you talk us through the, the process when you first became aware something was up and then the decision making to terminate his contract? Well certainly this final straw uh, was brought to our attention yesterday uh, so I investigated over the last 24 hours uh, and came to the decision this morning. How was it brought to your attention? Uh, just from a, a member of the public. So it was outside? Uh, Josh has got a contract for next year. Um, we'll come to an agreement with Josh and, and that the details have to be sorted out with his management um, and, and that'll be an ongoing uh, conversation we have over the next hour. So. When did the problem start, Maka? Was it about uh, six months ago? Quite a long time ago. Um, it's been going on for probably a year now, um, which is disappointing. We've actually been getting uh, Josh some help in this regard. Um, but he continues to not uphold the standards we require. How many lost have us at the group? To be honest, yes, he had. Um, which is, he, he was endeavouring to gain that back over the last month, a few months, um, but this final act uh, has obviously not enabled him to do that. How what was his reaction, reaction to the news? Had? Certainly, he's uh, reasonably devastated about it. He's, he's lo losing his job, as any of us would be if we lost our job, you know. Losing his job and his livelihood. I, I know you can't kind of elaborate too much on the content, but uh, was it borderline illegal? Was that the basis of the no, I think that, I think what we, we don't want to miss the point here. The point is that he actually put something on social media that was highly inappropriate and really didn't uphold the standards that we require. More confidentiality perspective though, or more of a, a legality perspective? No, more that really we don't want to get involved. We don't want to have any player in our establishment involved in that sort of behaviour. Do, do you have a social media problem with Carlton? No, not at all. Our guys are uh, versed in social media and, and how we behave on social media. But in saying that, it's a, it's a really friendly, not a friendly reminder, but a, a real reminder for all of us, all players across the league, all young men and women across society, that you need to be very, very careful when you're dealing with social media. Is that why you, is that why you brought the playing group in today, for that reminder? Absolutely, absolutely. So we, want, we notified Josh and we spoke to the playing group shortly after uh, on two fronts. Obviously Josh will need some support, um, but really to remind the playing group that they need to be super careful when dealing with how, social media. How has it brought to the club's attention this uh, inappropriate use of social media? Uh, just through a member of the public, yeah. It's, I don't think it's relevant. Did Josh have a chance to uh, address his teammates this morning at the moment? No, he didn't have a chance. Um, you know, and just keep in mind that this was one of a number of things that have occurred over an, a, a good considerable time. Was the leadership group consulted on the decision? Was it, how, no, was the, the leadership group were not consulted on the decision. The decision was made by um, management at, at the football club. I mean, you have to understand that um, we acted quite swiftly, that we needed to. Um, I think it was above the decision of the leadership group. It does sound like Josh is a, a bit of a troubled young man. Will the club provide ongoing support and what sort of support will they provide? Yeah, absolutely. It's a really good question. Um, speaking to Josh today, we will provide uh, ongoing support with him for as long as he needs. Last one, guys. Different Chris Judd. Have you made a call yet when he's where he's going to play this week? Is there ever a press conference where Chris Judd does not get brought up? <laughs> Thanks, <Mark. laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Thanks very much. There you go.